Okay, hello all you YouTubers out there that are trying to figure out what is wrong with a 209 or a 2010 onwards higher sun GT650. So I've taken all the rear fairing off, um, got down, taken the tank off, just put it on next to a skippy bin. And now looking down into the throttle. Um, considering the K's that it's done and um, and how old the bike is, it's in pretty good nick. I'm quite impressed. Uh, you know, just a little bit of yellow coloration in those throttle bodies, so that's you know due to uh, the oil recycling through. Um, but nevertheless, uh, this bike is in good nick. Uh, it's just clocked over 26 thousand kilometers um, so yeah so I've been experiencing a lot of problems uh, with the overheating and bike shutting down on idle uh, now a lot of you guys have probably experienced the same thing with this particular model uh, this is the EFI model um, and I've come after doing various and many hours of research I think I found what the culprit is and the culprit looks like to be that little guy right there. Now that guy is a TPS or is known as a throttle positioning sensor and it for some reason when the bike starts to get real hot um, I think the plastic starts to get a bit soft and due to the vibration it moves I, I don't know it's it, it is a speculation but um, you know I'm gonna uh, loosen it up a little bit and um, just change the angle uh, so when it gets quite hot my bike idles below the 1000 rpm should be staying around between 114 116 uh, sorry uh, 14 or 1600 rpms um, but at the at the moment it isn't when it gets quite hot and uh, it's funny um, when you go to accelerate it backfires and then stalls and you look like a bit of a noob um, at the set of lights when that happens um, but you know I've been running for X amount of years and uh, you know this bike's pretty good um, it's just yeah heating problems that's what this bike suffers from uh, it gets very hot um, uh, other than playing around with the little uh, TPS I'm gonna try to also remove this bloody bullshit of a bracket <laughs> That's right there on my throttle because when I open, I didn't realize I ended up purchasing off my mate was a lamb bike. I thought it was a full, uh, I thought it was a full bike, um, but uh, yeah, um, but yeah, when you open it, it only goes. I can only uh, trying to actually see if you guys can see what I see. You can probably see it on this one much better. I'm trying to turn the light on. Let me see if I can turn the light on. Maybe you might be able to see as I as I increase. Uh, okay. Well, I'm trying to get you guys to see. I can't really see because of the reflection of my screen. Um, so it doesn't open all the way as you can try to get you guys to see as much as possible it doesn't open all the way and that's because of that stupid learner bracket well it's not stupid you know if you are a learner it it, it does save learners lives from you know going to too hard on when they first out there but you know I've been riding for a lot of years and I have, was completely unaware that you know basically my best mate gave me this bike nearly free and he said yeah just ride it I didn't know had no idea it was uh, Lamb's approved bike uh, but I'm going to remove that and see what it does now I've been told if you remove this you got to flash the ECU and you got to do all sorts of things yeah I could do that but you know this bike only cost me like five hundred dollars off my best mate so you know if it shits itself oh well yeah i'll probably make more parts in and probably make more money selling the parts and i would if i had to sell it in whole but there it is that's what i'm going to do to it i'll play around with the 
TPS. Ooh, uh, I think that is a bit too high now. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna. There we go. So I'm gonna play with with that guy and see if it solves my overheating, idling, stalling issue out on the road. So. I'll get back to you and uh, I'll upload more videos. Uh, there's not a lot of videos on 650 higher suns, uh, but yeah, uh, that's that's a girl that takes me everywhere. So yeah, so I'll get back to you.